All right, guys, today I'm going to be shooting the Silver Eagle XT3 uh, Camo Edition 410. I've got some of the Federal Premium TSS number nines. Got some Apex Turkey Ninja nine and a halfs. I tried to make this video about two weeks ago and had some issues with the gun. Uh, just a factory issue. They sent me the parts, I installed them. So today we're going to see how it shoots. I'm going to be doing the review on this gun in another video, but today that we're going to get this patterning done. I got the Carlson's TSS uh, turkey choke in the end of it here. It's the Benelli mobile choke style. So we're going to be testing at 20 and 40 yards, kind of save a little bit on ammunition. And so let's see what this thing can do. First off, we're going to be shooting the Apex Turkey Ninja 9.5 at 20 yards. If that was at 20 yards, go adjust my camera, and then we'll come back and shoot the 40 yard target. All right, this is gonna be shot number two with the Apex Turkey Ninja at 40 yards. This is going to be the Federal number 9's TSS turkey load, 20 yards. Action is clear. All right, this is going to be the Federal number 9 TSS at 40 yards. All right, so as you can see, uh, I did pattern a little low with the Apex. That just has been kind of the normal when I'm shooting this load. It has shot a little lower than the other two at 20 yards. But with the Apex and shooting a little, I remember this is the first one I shot, so I didn't really have, I just got shot, then I made my adjustment for the rest of them. But even shooting just a little bit low and to the left, I managed to get 163 pellets in a 10 inch circle with 32 in what I would consider the vital area just right in here. And on the Federal at 20 yards, I managed to get 137 in a 10 inch circle, but this was after I made my adjustment because it was shooting a little bit low. I managed to get 137 like I said, but it is a little bit more of a centered pattern here and it is still a little bit more dense to the left but that one did good but like i said that was also after my adjustment if i'd have made my 10 inch circle move my 10 inch circle down to where my biggest part of my pattern was it would have been a, a lot more dense pattern than 160 it would have been closer to 200 pellets but on the 20 yards that's what you got and uh the federal does seem to be a little bit more even spread it does have a lot more flyers off the target but the center the, the the center of the actual pattern does seem to be a little bit more evenly spread at 20 yards the apex does seem to have a little bit of a couple of splotchy areas so but you got more pellets in there too you got what 30 about around 28 pellets different or difference in there not very good with the quick math there but you got more pellets in the area all right, so let me get the 40-yard targets. All right, this is going to be a little bit more difficult to see, but on the Federal, 
at 40 yards. I reused a target. I went back and colored over all the original shots from the last one because it patterned mostly way down here. So I really didn't have to cover a bunch of them up. But inside of the 10 inch grid there, I managed to get 93 pellets in the 10 inch grid. And since this one is one of the ones that shows the actual vitals of the turkey, I managed to get 14 vital hits. It's a pretty even spread, and I believe I did shoot a little low. Like I did say, with these rounds, they tend to kind of drop off a little bit at 40 yards. So at 40 yards, I gotta remember to aim even higher at 40. It does seem to be fairly centered there. Maybe just a little back to the left, which it seems to be with all these. I'm shooting just a little to the left. Don't know, probably need to make some adjustments to the sights on the gun. We'll talk about the whole red dot situation on the video as far as reviewing the gun. But that's not bad at 40 yards. Now with the Apex, it did, did much better in my opinion. As far as the spread and the actual pattern itself. It's a little bit more even at 40 yards than what the Federal was. I only managed to get two more pellets in the 10 inch circle though but they seem to be spread out a little bit more evenly. And inside that 10 inch circle, they like I said, they managed to get 95 in there and they're pretty well spread. Um, maybe did shoot a little bit into this area, a little bit more because it is a little bit thinner here. But at 40 yards, both of these seem to do really well for turkey. I wish I had some more of the browning ammunition. I wish I may go see if I could find some this week and shoot it to see. So far in all my testing, the Browning has had the most consistent patterns, and I'll show you those also in the video from the, when I shot last week, even though uh, the gun was kind of acting up, but the Browning ammunition actually didn't cause have that problems that the other ammunition I shot did, so I will show you those patterns also. Matter of fact, I think I got them laying over here. I'll grab them real quick. I won't have the pellet count, but I can actually just show you the patterns. Okay, these are the two browning targets from last week. And it's gonna be kind of hard to get a judge on it because like I said, the, the gun was giving me some issues and so was the mount for the red dot site. I've done away with that till I can find the correct site to go or mount for the site. Just gonna use the iron sights that come with the gun. As you can see right here, this is the browning at 20 yards. I mean, that is very dense at 20 yards. Oh, I mean, it almost punched a solid hole here in this area. It was, it was down and to the right, but it did it. That's a hell of a pattern right there at the 20 yards. I mean, it was so powerful. The, this is where the wad actually hit the piece of uh, flashing here and bent it. I mean, that's aluminum flashing. And the wad hit it and put a nice dent in it. But that's a very nice tight pattern. Like I said, I really like the Browning ammunition so far. It's been my favorite even over the Apex and the uh, Federal. Uh, this is 40 yards here with the Browning. This is two shot. The first shot went way up here and hit it. So I'm gonna kind of ignore the actual number of pellets. This was the second shot here at 40 yards is mostly this area. And that's still at 40. I don't know how many was over here. So this seems to be the center area. It's the densest part. But as you can see, very dense, nice pattern still at 40 yards. Um, I hope you can see that with the camera. I can try to zoom in on it a little bit when I get it onto the software. But that's a very nice pattern, still at 40 yards. It's it's very comparable with the Apex at 40. And I really, really like that Browning ammunition. I'm gonna have to see if I can find some more. Uh, right now, turkey season's just started, so it's gonna be really hard to find any ammunition right now. But that's the Browning. Just want to give you guys a look at that real quick just so you guys can see it even though it had some issues with the sights and the gun itself. I'll show you what happened with the gun in the review, and I'm gonna do try to get that done tonight also along with this video, so be looking for those two videos. Also, be looking for a new Hunt Fish Grow podcast coming out next week. It'll kind of be the first week of turkey hunting thing. Um, also, I'm gonna also bring back the Yuldies single shot too, and I'm gonna run both of these rounds through it and see how it does. This is the one with the modified fixed choke, single shot. So I'm gonna bring it out probably tomorrow and make a quick video of patterning it with both of these rounds. Just gonna do a uh, one shot at probably, 
Probably do a one shot at 30 yards. This is a modified choke. One shot with each at 30 yards, kind of save on ammo a little bit, so you get a get a nice idea of how it looks. But guys, thank you for watching, and be looking for or be looking forward to talking with y'all on the podcast. And also look out for the videos coming out soon. Have a good day.